Welcome back to my channel, Wesley Pickles. How am I looking today? Hopefully I'm looking a little better. I just invested in a tripod and one of those cool little ring lights that goes around it. It's really kind of cool. It even came with this really cool little Bluetooth remote. And whenever I push this button, it makes, whoops, <laughs> there you are. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, it starts the camera for me. Really super cool. Let's get to the pickles. Today we're tackling another budget pickle. We already did the great value brand. Now it's time to see what our friend Always Save can bring to the table. No lid pop. It's been brought to my attention that maybe the jars that have the plastic wrap on top aren't actually vacuum sealed. Thus, they don't give that real satisfying pop. Perhaps I owe the pickle producing people an apology for bashing them on their lid pop. But it's kind of my shtick, so zero out of five. Time for our smell test. Smells like a cheap dill pickle. Let's dig in. Bone pickle tea. First impression on the pickles, not terrible. I'm disappointed that there is yellow dye in this product. I just don't see the need. We live in a day and age where food does not need to be colored to make me buy it, honestly. How many moms are there out there who specifically buy foods that don't have dyes in it? Surely Always Save could save a little money by not adding yellow dye to their pickles. But what do I know? Let's keep going. My biggest complaint about this pickle, just like the Great Value pickle, is that it's really rubbery. The consistency of the pickle just is not appetizing. The center is soft. The texture is, I don't know how to describe it. It feels like it's overcooked and rubbery. It's just not great. Two out of five on the crunch. Flavor's mediocre. It's not going on the list. We already knew that. But if you're watching this to know whether this is better than great value, I would say probably yes. I would opt for the Always Save brand over great value. And you can save an additional 50 to 80 cents. Also, I'm curious to know, What's your opinion on business wear? Obviously, I'm rocking a, a suit jacket and a tie. Do you think it comes off as salesy when you see someone dressed up? Do you think it's appropriate? Is it more attractive on a man to see them dressed up in a tie and a jacket? I wonder mainly because it feels like something that's fading away from our culture. Used to be, you would dress up like this, and expect to get a good job. You would be taken seriously. I grew up in the world where it was wrong to have a tattoo that showed while you work. Now, if you were to go outside, I think it might be difficult not seeing someone with visible tattoos. It's interesting how our world changes. Do you take people more seriously when they're dressed nicely? Do they come off as smarter or more mature or more successful? And is that important to look successful? Occasionally in these jars, you stumble into a pickle that isn't too bad. My personal opinion on dress wear is that you can be overdressed. And it's becoming harder and harder to be underdressed. I don't know that that's a good thing. I don't know that it's something I like. But it's just kind of how it is. Honestly, my opinion towards people who I normally see dressed like this is I think you're trying a little too hard or you're trying to sell me something. 
<laughs> What's that say about me? I don't know. Occasionally in these jars, you run into terrible pickles that are hard to get down. Ugh. And then there was one. Look at how yellow that is. So gross. My final thoughts. The pickle, better than great value. Not worth a purchase though, if you've got money to buy something else. As far as what you wear during the day, and really, I mean this a little bit towards men more than women. I think something good to remember is to dress for the occasion. If you want to impress, dress to impress. If you don't care what people think of you, well, wear whatever you want, I suppose. At the end of the day, I guess they're just clothes. Doesn't really matter much, right? Random thought. Enjoy your day, enjoy some pickles, and I'll see you tomorrow. Ugh. Thanks for tuning in today. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you. And if you made it this far in the video, hey, you get one more chance to win some of my money. As you know, I'm giving away $100 at the end of the year or half of my YouTube earnings, whichever is greater. All you have to do is drop this keyword down in the comments. The keyword is yellow. Bye.